Good morning. Today is Friday, September the 9th, and our lesson this morning is God's house will be filled. And our lesson is coming from Luke, the 14th chapter, the 15th verse through the 23rd. And the scripture lesson text read, And when one of them that sat at meat with him heard these things, he said unto him, Blessed is he that shall eat bread in the kingdom of God. Then said he unto him, A certain man made a great supper and bid many, and sent his servant at supper time to say to them that were bidden, Come, for all things are now ready. And they all with one consent began to make excuse. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground, and I must needs go and see it. I pray thee, have me excuse. And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I go to prove them. I pray thee, have me excused. And another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. So that servant came and assured his lord these things. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city, and bring in hell of the poor, and the maimed, and the halt, and the blind. And the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded, and yet there is room. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. Amen. This is a wonderful and powerful lesson we have this morning, letting us know uh, even though many make excuses, there are plenty more that will fill the Lord's house. We must not make excuses for not going and doing the Lord's will. I'm going to read you a passage from the F.B. Meyer commentary. It says, In this parable, the master anticipated that the Jewish magistrates and leaders would repudiate or reject his invitation, and that they would, therefore, be extended to the less likely masses to be found in the streets and lanes of the city, and to the Gentiles and in the outland world. What a provision is here of the suitableness of the gospel to all the world and of the ultimate inclusion of all mankind under one roof. It's from John 14, 1 and 2. And that scripture lesson text read, Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mentions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go and prepare a place for you. He has prepared a place for us. Let us get ready for that place. And it continues, it says, The excuses was obviously trumped up and invalid. Men see fields before buying them. They try oxen before purchase and can take their wives where they go themselves if they wish to do so. They who are acute enough for this world are often slow and careless about the next, though that is the only world which really matters. Getting ready for the world to come is the most imperative thing that we can do in this lifetime. If, that, if thou art poor, maimed, blind, or lame, there is room for thee at God's table, and for thee a great spoil shall be divided. Coming from Isaiah 33 and 23. And that uh, text read, Thou tackling or loose, they could not well strengthen their mast. They could not spread the sail. Then is the prey of a great spoil divided. The lame take the prey. Amen. When those that are provided for is not willing to step up, God will allow those that are ready and willing to go to do his will and his word to take the place. I pray that you meditate on this wonderful lesson today, and y'all have a blessed and great day.